Hello, silly bakers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are making a blueberry spoon cake. Why is it called a blueberry spoon cake? Well, I think it's called a blueberry spoon cake because you actually have to cook your blueberries beforehand, and then you're going to spoon the blueberries over the batter before baking. The end result is, I would say, a cross between an upside down blueberry cobbler and the top of a blueberry muffin. It's that's all, that's all I need to say, really. Um, it's so easy, it's so delicious, it's not overly sweet, even though there's a ton of blueberries in this recipe. You can sweeten it however you like. I used a raw cane sugar. Um, the original recipe actually called for sour cream, but I actually replaced it with 2% Greek yogurt. But if you have a 5% or a full fat, that's even better. Um, again, this is such an adaptable, versatile recipe. Uh, Gluten-free because it's actually made with cornmeal and almond flour, but you can just use almond flour for those keto lovers out there. Um, both would be fantastic. It's again, an easy recipe to make, so why don't we make a blueberry spoon cake? You wanna preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a medium saucepan, add your two and a half cups of frozen blueberries or fresh blueberries. You're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. I used a raw cane sugar, but you can use whatever sugar you like. We're going to zest and juice half a lemon. So remember to zest your lemon before you juice it. I like to combine everything just to get everything going. And then you're going to let this cook for three to five minutes on low to medium heat. You wanna wait until it's nice and glossy. You're gonna turn off the heat and then you're gonna set your blueberries aside. You're going to grease a nine inch pan. You can use a pie dish. Um, I had this square ceramic dish, so I use that. And you're gonna set that aside. This is your almond flour plus your cornmeal. Remember, you can just use almond flour. We're gonna add baking soda and your salt. And give that a good mix. This bowl is a little small. Make sure you use a larger bowl. Now you're gonna add your softened butter to a large bowl and you're gonna add the rest of your sugar, which is about half a cup. Using either a whisk or an electric beater, this is a cordless um, electric beater, which I love, um, you're going to whisk your butter and sugar until it's combined, about two minutes. Then you're gonna add your one egg, and again, you're gonna mix that to combine. Remember to scrape down your sides every so often. Next, we're gonna add our yogurt. Again, you could use 2%, 5% full fat yogurt, or you can use sour cream as well. And you're gonna give that a mix until it's incorporated. Make sure you scrape down your sides. And then just give that one final mix. Next, we're gonna add our dry ingredients. And again, using your electric mixer, you're going to mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients until it's combined. Don't overmix. Next, you're gonna add your ceramic dish to a baking sheet. And the reason for that is because we're working with a lot of fruit and a lot of juicy fruit and we don't want any spillage. First thing you wanna do is add your batter to your dish and you're gonna spread it evenly from corner to corner. And lastly, we're going to spoon the blueberry mixture over the batter. Every single drop. This looks odd, but trust me, it's like magic in the oven.
You could also make this recipe with strawberries. Mixed berries uh, would be lovely as well. So you can change it up. Now it's time to bake. We're going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 55 minutes until the cake takes on this deep nutty color. I love to serve this cake with sweetened whipped cream, but it's so wonderful with vanilla ice cream or frozen yogurt when it's warm out of the oven. It is really a light and delicious cake that everyone will love. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel for more healthy sweet treats. If you do try our blueberry spoon cake, don't forget to write it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Until next time, happy baking.